Hello everybody, Marlene aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for savings challenges. This is June number one savings challenge and I'm so excited because this is actually our side hustle money from May. We forgot to stuff it. So let's go ahead and get this stuffed. We're also going to have a guest appearance by Mr. Snow Gardener 307 to get his savings challenges stuffed. Let's go ahead and get started. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. All right, everybody. So I am so excited. We're going to go ahead and start out with a brand new challenge today. But first, let's go ahead and take our savings challenge money out of our Snow Gardener 307 envelope. Let's see what we've got left. I have no idea what we even have in here to stuff. And our focus is going to be debt on this, but we don't have a minimum amount like we do in our regular savings challenges. So we're gonna go ahead and have some fun today. Let's see how much we've got. We've got 20, 40, 60, 81. So $100 there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 1, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2. So we've got $142 to save. We're going to go ahead and start off with a brand new saving challenge that I just made. I'm so excited. This just hit my shop. This is the search for the elusive queen bee. Now this one is under $50 and it has dollar amounts decided for you already. So you've got the queen bee. If you find her, you have to put in $10. Then you've got a couple different worker bees right here. This one is telling you thumbs up. Everything's a okay. He's $4. Then there's the bossy worker bee. He's $2. He's got his megaphone. If you find a hive, that's $1. If you find just honey, you actually don't have any money to stuff at all. Now, remember you guys, these are your savings challenges. So you do whatever you want, but I thought it would be kind of fun. It's kind of like punishment because you didn't find a bee. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. And I think I'm gonna put this money towards me. And that is something I wanna start saving for a computer. So I was thinking that that might be what this is. And you guys, I have no idea where anything on this is because I have several different versions and I've put stickers on and they're all a little bit different. So I really have no idea. So we're going to go ahead and get started and start scratching. And let's see what we've got. So we have got the worker bee that's giving us the thumbs up sign. And so he is $4. So one, two, three, and four and let me go ahead and grab out our envelopes i just redid my savings challenges you guys so hopefully i'm a little bit more organized and so really quick on the savings challenge i do want to do a little mini commercial really quick when you order this this is obviously a physical product and i want to show you guys how thick this paper is this is 100 pound cardstock i'm so excited for how beautiful it is you could hole punch it yourself and for whatever binder you want but this is nice and thick so you get the scratcher on one side and then you guys you've got a coloring challenge on the back which is called sweet summer days and you get to set your own amount so it's for any budget that you want and then you also have an opportunity either to buy or when you buy a bundle you get this dashboard for free and it is out of the same card stock and so we've got search for the elus elusive queen bee and we also have sweet summer days. So this one is good for both of your challenges, depending on how you want to do your challenges. So let's go ahead and add in our $4 really quick, $4. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back into my binder really quick. I am trying to make sure and keep things organized because with the number of savings challenges that I'm now going to be doing, I've got to keep everything super organized or else I'm going to get very confused. I don't know about you guys, but I confuse very easily. So next we're going to go ahead and do rolling with my nomies. And this is a debt challenge and we need a dice for this. So let me grab out my bag of dice here. You guys hear all that? We've got all kinds of dice. And we're going to use this purple one right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and roll. One. So two dollars. We're going to go ahead and do one more roll. Three. One, two, three. So we need two more dollars or four more dollars. One, two, three, four for our little road dashes. I also like to put where I've ended up. So we ended up right here. 
And this is from the Thrifty Sewist, just so you guys know. And so let's go ahead and scratch this and see how much that is. So $5 there. So let's go ahead and grab a five. And I believe we can change these out too. One, two, three, four, and five. So $6 today going into rolling with my Nomi's. All right, so that envelope was stuck. So I just went ahead and cut it, you guys, because I'm not using the zippers anymore. They drive me crazy. So let's see what we've got in here. I bet we can swap out some of our bills for some 20s. And look at that. We've got some 10s then. So let's go ahead and take these two 10s. And you guys know that as I do my challenges, I often do a bill swap right in the middle um, just so that I have change that I need. And we have got one, two, three four, five, ten, and another twenty. And yeah, let's let's get these big bills used up. So so far we have $95 going towards our debt with rolling with my nomies. Love that. And all right, next we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do a another shut the box because I am just addicted. So we need two dice. So let's go ahead and grab another dice. Let's see what we find this time. All right, so we've got two dice. As always, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you on in so you can see the dice a little bit better. And remember, the playing field is the paper. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do green and purple. All right, so what we roll is going to be purple. And we're just going to play this shut the box once because we have a lot of savings challenges and we need to get Mr. Snow Gardener in here. So let's go ahead and do this. So we've got three. And we've got seven. And I guess the last time I played Shut the Box, I counted the six as a nine. So as you can see, this dice has a line on it for the six, and this one does not. So just forgive me if I make silly mistakes. We've got another three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you guys. That means we have to use these right here. Uh, this may be a, a very expensive one. Let's see what we can roll. Come on, big numbers. So we've got a six. And we've got a five. And remember, you guys, this comes from Reinventing Renee. And we've got another six. So we're done. That was now we won. I'm glad we said we were only going to play one. So we've got 12 plus nine, which equals $21 and shut the box. So this is a brand new game. So we've got $21 going into our shut the box envelope towards our debt. Whew, that was a rough one. And then we have got Liz and we have got in a world full of wieners, be a corn dog. We are finishing these up. These are both ketchup. So we need $20 for this. And this is going straight in the Australia envelope. So let me go ahead and color these and then we'll be done. All right, Liz. So our world full in a world full of wieners be a corn dog. This version is done. We're going to go ahead and pull this on out and set it off to the side. And this $20 is going straight into Australia, but we've got a couple other Australia challenges. So I'm just gonna set it off to the side for a minute. Then we have got Madeline. And this of course is our save 23 and 23. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys on out a second. I just realized on the that I didn't have you guys zoomed out. Hopefully you could see me coloring the wieners. And we are gonna go ahead and we're looking for a little number. We're gonna go ahead and do $11. I see an 11 on there. And our goal here is not to finish this one by the end of 2023. If it happens to happen, great. But if not, it's okay because we are not going to Australia until 2024. So $11 there. And we've got one more Australia challenge. So let's go ahead and play Board Game Bonanza which is from the Aussie Taylor Louise. So Taylor Louise budgets. And let's see, we were right down here. Save $10. We're going to go ahead and roll and we're going to roll one time and see what happens. All right. So we got seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start here. 
we're going to go again because we can't just stop there. One, two, three, four. Free square. We're rolling again. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Save eight dollars. So five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's go ahead and add this into Australia. And these challenges, I decided it would just be easier to just add them straight into my Australia envelope because I do have so much going on. And look at that, I owe Australia $7. So let's go ahead and grab that out, five, six, and seven. And then we need to color that in so that we know we have paid for our IOU. And these right here are from Liz. And wow, that was an awful coloring job. <laughs> So let's see what we've got. I don't think we're going to be able to do a placeholder, but we might be able to minimize some of our bills. So let's see. Now, of course, we are kind of um, starting to run out of bills over here. We're starting to spend all of our money, dang it. So let's see. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 89 and I think we're just going to leave those bills just how they are so that's for Australia we're going to go ahead and put that away and we have so many savings challenges and not that much money left and I saw that I had a 20 left over there for Australia so you guys know me always changing my mind so let's see what we've got we've got 5 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 and I know I've got another five in here I sure do so we are going to go ahead and pull that 20 just so we can make our money stretch a little bit further for Australia. Okay, Australia is done. Let's put this money over here and let's see how far we can make it stretch. Now, I may not play every single challenge in here, but let's take a look at what we've got because we've got some new ones. And so this is a brand new one, The Beauty of Saving. And I am, let's see, what am I doing with this one? I can't remember. The beauty of saving is going to my emergency fund because emergency fund always needs more money. So we're going to go ahead and write an EF right up here. We are not going to stuff this one this time. So we're going to go ahead and skip it. This was from Star Budgets, just so you guys know. And then we're also going to skip this. This is a brand new game that I just bought, another dice game. And this is from Reinventing Renee. I went ahead and made myself a dashboard for it. And we're going to wait until the next one to do this as well. But I do want to do our 100 donation savings challenge. This is going to go right into our giving envelope. And so this is from Veronica over at 40 Plus Life. We're going to go ahead and add in $3, and we will put this into our giving. So let me grab out our Christmas Miracles envelope. We're just going to go ahead and put $3 in there. Let's take a look. We don't have a lot in here, you guys. One, but we do have some ones. Look at that. We're going to go ahead and change it out for a five, and we're going to put three more ones back in there. One, two, and three. And so this right here, you guys, I know I keep repeating it, but we have already done our Christmas miracle um, for the year. So that is why that is not getting a ton of money. Hello everybody, Editing Marlene here. I have a couple announcements I wanted to throw in really quick. First of all, a huge thank you to so many of you guys who messaged me and put posts and all kinds of good stuff to wish me a happy birthday yesterday. I had an amazing birthday even though it rained. The rain, rain, go away. I did want to let you guys know I still have my giveaway going on over on Instagram. So go check that out. You can still enter it. And you guys, I decided to extend my cell. So this challenge right here, see this one? They say it's my birthday. You can get a prize entry today only on June 8th for this entry for this. Um, if you put who sang the song down below. Now they say it's my birthday, right? Um, well, they say it's your birthday is the song. Um, I changed it to say, they say it's my birthday. So this side is for you to do your birthday. Uh, the back side is the color challenge. That one's upside down. <laughs> they say it's your birthday right there. So two challenges, one price. And guess what? 
It's upside down, but it's also half price. So go check out my Etsy store, you guys. The sell will go through June 9th and then it's going to be done. All right, everybody, let's get back to the video. Let's see. Then we have a Busy Lizzie challenge right here. This one's brand new. And I went ahead and made myself a dashboard for that one as well. And I get to pick how many letters there are. And I don't know how many letters there are. I haven't counted it or anything. I'm going to make each letter $2. And I'm going to go ahead and roll one dice that will tell me how many letters I need to color in. So I'm going to do four letters. And this money right here is going to go towards my computer as well. So we're going to do four letters. So one, two, three, and four. So eight dollars, five, six, seven, and eight. And the next one we're going to go ahead and skip for now just because we don't have enough money to do all of the challenges. And I've added a whole bunch of new ones. I have gotten this brand new one right here strong women never give up this is a $90 challenge and it's from Jamie's realistic life and I made a note I believe this one is going to debt as well it sure is so we're going to go ahead and just write debt on the top but we're going to skip this one for now I did make myself a dashboard for this one as well and put Jamie's name on there and then you guys the last one is our star notes and none of these were star notes so that binder is all done which means that this big binder is all done that's how I have that organized so let me go ahead and turn this over to Mr. Snow Gardener 307 over to you. <laughs> All right, Snow Gardener fans, we're back for another edition of the Thirsty Beaver Savings Challenge. And it looks like I got a gift, which is awesome. Oops. We're going to slide him over here and get to it. Get my rules out again. And here we go. A three. So that's going to be nine dollars. There's nine dollars that we will stuff in a second because I forgot part of my challenge. <sighs> uh, a nine dollar guy. Put him over here, standing next to the other guy, because we can. I am really bad at this. <laughs> and very not organized. But on that note, <laughs> we'll give you back to Mrs. Snow Gardener, and we'll see you next time. All right, everybody, that was my husband, Bridger. I did want to show you guys that he did go ahead and take the sticker that I bought for him, and he did put it on his envelope, and look at how cute the little beaver is. And again, a huge shout out to him for being such a good sport to go ahead and do savings challenges, even though 
Um, it does make him a little bit nervous. And today he was busy doing stuff and I kind of pulled him away. So he was a little bit scatterbrained. But let me go ahead and get my cash back out. And so we've got some ones, some fives, and some tens. So we are all done with the big binder. And that's the way that I've organized it. So the big binder is the glitter. So all of the challenges in the big binder are there. And then we have got the red binder and we have got the sparkly fun binder. Red binder is debt and things that are more adult-like. And the silver fun sparkly binder is the fun stuff. And so because we've already done some debt payments and this is side hustle money, I'm going to go ahead and do some fun. So let's go ahead and open up our fun binder and see what we've got in here. So we've got Julia's birthday money. We're going to skip that one. That's from reinventing Liz. We do reinventing Liz. <laughs> That's because reinventing Renee and Liz and Les are BFFs. Just so you guys didn't know they're like thick, right? Thick as thieves. So we're going to go ahead and skip Julia's challenge this time. Um, just because it's not one of my top priorities. I do have Australia in here. And these little challenges are from my friend Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. We're going to go ahead and just put $5 in there. And let me grab some markers because I don't have markers out. So let me go ahead and grab some markers. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and do a blue camera. And I've just been coloring those because it's easy. So $5 into Australia. And this is one of the Australia challenges that I've decided to keep separate. It seems like I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and I never know what I'm doing. And then we've got garden. We have been spending money in the garden. Heaven knows. We're going to go ahead and add $10 to this. And we're going to go ahead and do some blue flowers as well because blue seems like it's the color we're using right now and we've definitely got to give our tulips so speaking of garden if you guys watch my other channel which is more of my lifestyle channel I do cooking on there I do grocery hauls I do some canning some gardening I just did a 40 questions about me I was tagged by Leroy and on that the questions I had, you know, as I was answering them, I had said, I don't have any nicknames. That was wrong. Of course, I had put up there that my children and my husband call me Mama Duck. And then also one of the sergeants that I work with, he had watched my video. He goes, uh, no nicknames, Maybell. What do you mean? No nicknames. And so a couple of the deputies that I've worked with for over a decade, they call me Maybell. And it comes from one of the older deputies um, just decided that he liked my name being Maybell instead of Marlene. So they started calling me Maybell and one of the sergeants still does. So I get called Maybell at work by a select few. And Mama Duck actually comes from a story at work as well. And so for anybody that doesn't know, I am in law enforcement and I've done patrol and detention and some warrant stuff. And so when I was in the detention center one Christmas, um, we used to trade uh, deputies with Teton County, which is Jackson Hole, Wyoming for Christmas parties. So they had come down to work in our jail and I had volunteered to work Christmas, the day of the Christmas party, um, so that other people could go with their family. And they sent down these three huge deputies. I mean, they were all probably six, two or bigger. And for anybody that doesn't know, I say I'm five, five, but I'm probably actually five, four. And so the sergeant that was in um, the control room watching the cameras said that I looked like a mama duck with my three ducklings following behind me throughout that whole night because they all followed me around everywhere. And so that's where mama duck comes. And my husband, um, he's was friends or is friends with the sergeant that called me that. And so they still call me mama duck. And, uh, my husband will write cards to me and everything and put mama duck in there. So mama duck and Maybell. And also another friend actually called me Melvin. So I did have nicknames. I was just so nervous, you guys, when I was doing that video. All right. And then we have got the new Liz or Les, Liz and Les team mustard. We just got done with the hot dogs. You guys saw that. This is going to be going to Australia as well. So we just did some of that. So we're not going to do any of that right now. And then we have got Ira. We've got Ira's O balls. So we need to put something into O 
balls. So let's get a marker. We're going to go ahead and do blue. And we're going to go ahead and do 15 because I don't want to use up all of my fives. And what I'm using this for is this is my Christmas decor fund. If you have watched my other channel, you know that I do Vlogmas and I go a little bit Christmas crazy. So I am saving money specifically for myself to purchase Christmas decor. This is the first time I've ever done this for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. So that's definitely some fun money. And then let's see what else we have in here. As I said, I just reorganized these. And so I'm not used to them being this way yet. Then we've got Christmas. We're going to hold off on that. And we've got a box and we had no a box. So it looks like we do have a little bit more money to go to debt. So uh, let's go ahead and finish up this money and see where we get. And so uh, not all of this is for debt. I've got a brand new challenge from Golden Girl Budgets. And this is Tracy. And I was looking for my coin. There it is. This is Tracy. And so this one right here is actually going to start going towards my um, one year ahead. I want to have envelopes for every single bill that I have. And I want to have one year for every single bill in addition to my emergency fund. So we're going to go ahead and scrape one of these little flies right here for the frog. And so we got an eight. So we're going to go ahead and put $8 into our month ahead fund. And Tracy's challenges are so amazing. They're on amazing cardstock and they're all smooth and cute. And look at how cute he is. So a little frog. And I guess, is that a dragonfly? I don't know what he's eating. He's eating something. So $8. And then I have got a challenge from Sabrina Budgets. I've had this one for a while. This is a mystery challenge. I don't know how big it is. I'm a little bit scared, you guys. Mystery challenges make me very, very afraid. I don't know. I was just watching Chris from Chris Budgets, and she did my April challenge, and she's so funny because she's talking about how her palms are getting sweaty and stuff. And the challenges that I know with the dollar amount don't make me as nervous as a true mystery challenge. Like, I have no idea. That could be $100 under there, or that could be $1 for all I know. So we're going to circle one of these... That's going to go towards my debt, and that is my car. And so let's see what we've got here. All right, we've got $5. Whew. It didn't take all of our money, and we don't have to use our IOU. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And I had already hole punched this before I changed up my binders. I'll put that in this envelope right here. And then, you guys, we have Champagne's Tic-Tac-Toe. Now, I've not played this on camera yet. I showed you guys when I ordered it, and she did a special order for me, and I absolutely love it. So let's take the rules out again because I don't remember how to do it. So let me read it really quick. Okay, so it says, pull a piece out of the bag and match one of the numbers on the back of the piece to the board. Continue with the remaining pieces, selecting one of the two numbers. If the number is already taken, you must select, you must select the second number. The first line wins. All right, so, oh, we need to write on here how much we're gonna do this, and tic-tac-toe, um, tic-tac-toe, I don't think I decided what it was going towards, but we're going to go ahead and make it go towards debt because that's what we're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and write debt on here. So any vertical, we're going to go ahead and make that $2. Any horizontal, we'll make it $3 and any diagonal, we'll make it $5. Now I'm doing solo play. So it's alternate pieces as you play, as if you're playing against an, an opponent. So... Obviously, the snowflakes are one set, and I'm just going to put these over here in a pile. So snowflakes and flowers, and we're going to roll a dice. So if it is odd, we're going to do a flower. If it's even, we're going to do a snowflake. So it's even, so we're going to do a snowflake. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these up, and I'm not looking, you guys. So I've got this one right here, and it's a three or a three. So we have to go in the third spot. The third spot is here. Or here. We're going to go ahead and go to the bottom one. Then we're going to go ahead and mix these flowers up. And I'm not looking. And I've got this yellow one right here. And so we've got a one or a five. And so let's see. The five is in the middle. So we're definitely going to take the middle one there. 
Let's go ahead and shake these up again. And a one or a five. All right, so we've got to go, let's see, we're gonna go right here. And let's see if the flower can get the block, huh? Let's see what we've got. So we've got a two or a four. Ooh, we're lucky, that was a four. All right, so we're looking for another block here. So we've got this one, and this is a two or a four, and we've got a block. So let's see how we're gonna do here. Go ahead and pull this one, a three or a three. And so the three and the three is here. So we have to put it there. Uh-oh, you guys. Let's see how this works out. Then we've got this one, a one or a five. And a one is there. So the flower, the flower needs a two. So if I don't get one with a two on it, then the other one's gonna win. Oh, flower. And then it's obviously this one's turn, so that would be that. So what do we do if we get no tic-tac-toes? I guess we're gonna have to play again. And you guys, I'll fast forward this and do like the silly voice. And this time we're gonna go ahead and let the flower go. And these are nice and mixed up. So we're just going to leave them right there. So we've got the blue one, which is three or three. We're going to go ahead and go to the bottom. We've got this one right here, which is one or five. We're going to go to five. Then we've got two or four. So we've got a two right there. Then we've got a two or a four. Uh-oh, flower has a chance. It needs a one. And two or a four. So it blocks snowflake. So let's see. Snowflake needs a one. Nope, a two or a four. So snowflake's going to go right there. And a one. Okay, so we got a flower and we got a horizontal line. So we're gonna go ahead and do three dollars in our tic-tac-toe towards our deck. I really like that, you guys. Make sure you go check out her Etsy shop. These are beautifully made. And like I said, I asked her for one that matched my shop and this is what she came up with. And I absolutely loved it because she painted it and everything for me. So what a different way to save some money. Do some tic-tac-toe. How fun is that? All right, let's put this stuff away. Thank you, champagne. Okay, so now, oh, we have got hands and bands. Uh-oh. So $75, we've already got 30 in there. Let's see what we get now. All right, we've got five buckaroos going towards our debt here. And you guys, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take out the other five that's in here. So we've got two fives left and a couple ones. Uh-oh, we're getting there. And then, you guys, we are going to skip struggle for this one. Don't worry, struggle will be back next time because you guys have given me all kinds of word words. But we're going to skip this one. And we're going to skip the June scratch off. Let's see, we've got each icon is $5. What do we have here? We've got $3, $5, $5. All right. This right here is Maury Timmy, and she is also Phoebe is her name. She's Maury Tim Timmy, though, on YouTube. So we're going to go ahead and do two of these really, really quick, and then we've got $3 that we're not going to worry about spending. We're just going to leave it in there. Um, because it's okay to have a little bit of extra to go with the next time we play. So uh, that is it for my savings challenge. Number one, using side hustle money. And I wouldn't have the side hustle money without you guys supporting me, watching my YouTube videos, and ordering products on Etsy. Thank you guys so much for the support of my physical and my digital products. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. So let's go ahead and put this $3 right here in the Snow Gardener 307. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in savings challenges so that we can stuff it the next time. Hello everybody. Well, Georgette and Fred Jr. reminded me that it's giveaway time. So we have got these stickers from my sister-in-law Shannon at 307 Design Studio on Etsy. And these are the habit trackers. Now, as I said, this one right here already has one of the little check marks because she was making sure they'd fit in there. And she gave us a second one to give away as well. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the computer and see what we've got. So I've got that in there. We're gonna do comment replies, filter duplicate names, and then of course we are looking for hashtag 307 design studio. So uh, let's go ahead and get YouTube comments. So we have got 13 people in this drawing right now. So uh, let's go ahead and do the drawing. Now uh, this one I'm not sure like, okay, so number, here we go. 
So we have got, we're going to do two winners because we've got two sets of those. And then we're going to go ahead and start the raffle and pick the winners. Oh, wow. It did it already. Okay. So there we go. Winner number one, budget with Sandra. She said, your sister-in-law is so talented. Hashtag 307 design studio. And winner number two, Chris Gilmore, your sister-in-law is talented beyond belief. Hashtag 307 design. All right. So congratulations to Sandra and to Chris. Both of you guys need to go ahead and send me an email or you can send me an Instagram message. My email is snowgardener307 at gmail.com. And then I will probably have you um, update your comment so that we can make sure that nobody scams you out of your prize. All right. So a huge thank you to Shannon at 307 Design Studio. And a huge thank you to Georgette and Fred Jr. for reminding me that I almost forgot to do the drawing. All right, everybody, that's it for me. Thanks for joining me today. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Green. Now, speaking of garden, if you guys watch my other challenge, I'm having a rough time tonight, you guys. It is after work. It is 10, 18 p.m. <laughs> an email to snowgardener307 at gmail.com or send me an instant message on instant grab. But instant grab. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, 